Hello, you guys. Welcome to Street Politics with Talisha. And tonight, I just want to touch on some things with some people. So yesterday, everybody, if you haven't heard, you heard about Dwayne Wade's son, said he don't want to be called a son anymore. He's a girl, and his new name is Taya. Zaya, I'm sorry. I'm, Lord have mercy. Think about my niece. His, his new name is, is, is Zaya, and that's what he wants to be called. And this, this, that. And so they put this out on social media. Whatever you post on social media... It's no longer your business because you involve the world in it. You get trolls, you get people with their opinions and you know, people that have something to say. That's what you expect when you put something on. Anything I put on social media, it's, it's not private. Private stuff don't go on social media. Stuff that is private, it do go on social media. So I made a video yesterday about it. And all I was just basically saying is, you know, let a kid be a kid. Some kids are too young. When I was that age, 11, 12 years old, my parents didn't let me wear no fingernails and halter top shirts. No, because I was a kid. I think people, when you take away from a kid, be a kid. And especially when it has something to do with trans community lbgt whatever they seem to take it a, a, a totally different way than what you are saying now if this is supposed to be normal and it's something that you do or it, why do you have to broadcast it on on social media if it's nothing to it and his son is living his truth and his life is he why why do we have to know that Did I post on social media my son first girlfriend? You know what I'm saying? Like that that's not that's that's not important. But I'm going to say this and I don't care. I'm not into pleasing everybody. I'm going to say how I feel. I believe and this is my belief, I'm entitled to my belief that it's a agenda into me in attack on black men now when I say an agenda they having kids express they say I could imagine talking to my grandmother and something about me wanting to have sex and wanting to change my sex at the age of 12 because kids are not supposed to do that so the things that we are allowing our kids to do, we allowing, I won't say we, some people are allowing, are not allowing their kids to be kids. Like, let your child be a child. Your child has a, a whole life ahead of him if he want to change his name, if he want to wear a hard to top. If you want to wear nails, he has a long time ahead of him for that. And it's a time and a place for everything. And this is just my opinion. The way they raise in a household clearly is not how I raise mine. You see what I'm saying? It's clearly not how my household is, is, is ran. So I had put up another thing just to show a comparison. I said, my son didn't get praise and all this and didn't get to go on the Ellen DeGeneres show for going to the Navy. So why, if this is something normal, if this is something he want to do, why is Dwayne Wade to uh, get pranced around? I mean, getting all this publicity for something that he's doing in his private life and you telling us to be private I got 
I don't even, I'm not going to even call it an attack because as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> y'all, the people that, that that was coming under them comments, y'all are nothing, nobody, like, it, it, it's nothing to me with, with you all. So I'm just going to call you some trolls. But it was the LGBTQ community. That community came under my post. And I'm going to leave the link on Twitter so you can just click on this thing and just see. Said that my son, I need to mind my business. This, you ain't a part of our community. You ain't got no reason to say what you say. I hope your son in the Navy sucking, you know, sucking penises. I hope he died. I hope uh, you need to be worried about your son dying and you will be, I mean, just going crazy, just going crazy. But this is the community to act like they for love. It's all about love. This is community all about love. The LGBT community, and when I say this, I'm not talking about everybody. Let me just say that. When, I'm, when I say this, I'm not talking about everybody. But some folks in that LGBT community, I don't know who in the hell y'all think y'all are. I don't know who crowned you and made you Jesus. You can get criticized just like anybody else. I can talk about whatever I want to talk about. You or nobody else can stop me from saying what I want to talk about. Let's get that straight. Y'all cannot stop me from saying anything. Who, who is y'all? Who is y'all to tell me what I shouldn't be saying? Or what I shouldn't be doing? The LGBT is the only community that cries about people not accepting them. But as soon as you say something that they don't like, they come all on you. I had so many blue check marks checking me with all these pronouns. Not checking me. Saying something. With all these pronouns in a bio. Now, if I were to say something negative about them or him, it would have been a problem. You see what I'm saying? It's just like they get to prance around and do everything that they want to do push their values on everybody else and we supposed to sit back, shut up and don't say nothing because if you do, you homophobic because according to them just because I said something basically saying that let him be a child, I'm homophobic and it's a lot of gay men see that's the agenda they want to spread and make everything the way they are When I was younger growing up, sexuality wasn't put um, put on us. Family values was. Not that you gay and want to be a man, you want to be a woman, you want to be a dog, you want to be a cat. All this stuff. No, none of that was the thing. And you had gay family members. But they sexuality was not pushed on them just like anybody else is not. But I'm just sick of that the LGBT community thinking somebody got to bow down to them. No one has to bow down to you. Y'all can be criticized just like anybody else can be criticized. Dwayne Wade put his son on Instagram. I didn't. Once you put, put, uh, press that send button and it goes out, you can't get that back. I guess they wanted everybody to praise what his son is doing. But as soon as you critique or criticize it, they want to call you all kind of... I blocked so many people today because at first I was just going back and forth with them. I wasn't even really going back and forth with them, but I just blocked them. But as soon as somebody say something about them, they falling out and crying. Like, they the big... The LGBT community is the biggest snowflake people I ever met in my life. No one can say nothing about them, but they can force all their views on you. And if you don't like it, you're homophobic. Well, guess what? Don't come on this platform. Because I'm going to say what I want to say to you, whoever, and whoever. I'm going to say what I want to say. And I just think it's, it's, it's crazy how they forcing everybody to accept everything for them. And we just supposed to stand by. If I don't like something, I don't like something. If I don't agree with something, I don't agree with something. And I'm not going to hold my tongue for anybody. And if you don't like what I said, 
unfollow the people that was that's coming on me. I don't even follow these people. Y'all found me. You found me to click on anything, but let me bash y'all and say any of that thing to y'all. Y'all to be homophobic, passing out, acting like somebody killed you. And because y'all are the most picked on community, y'all a bunch of crybabies. That's what y'all is. And I, I don't have to accept nothing that y'all put out there. If I don't like something, I'm going to say something. I would have never said nothing about Dwayne Wade's son if he would have never had him on Instagram. I mean, social media. He put a whole video out. He went on Ellen's show. So I said what I said, and it is what it is. And if you don't like it, oh, well. And I'm going to continue to say whatever I want to say. I never disrespected his son because I would never disrespect nobody, child. But I will say how I feel. And if you don't like it, oh, well. That's what our constitutional First Amendment right is for. Freedom of speech. For me to say anything I want to say. And you can label me homophobic. I don't care. Y'all label me racist. I'm still trying to understand how I'm that. But that's just all I want to say. Do not let the LBGT community bully you. Because I ain't, I'm not apologizing, none of that. Because y'all don't run me. Y'all don't run my accounts and tell me what I can say and what I can't say. So that's all I wanted to tell you about them. Y'all have a blessed day.